Welcome back to the next and final segment of our interview with Eric Margulies on the situation in Georgia and Poland. Uh, Eric, the uh, Bush administration, which has been taking these steps, uh, instigating uh, Georgia as it's accused, certainly the Polish Missile Agreement, has been backed by Obama and his foreign policy people. They haven't tried to differentiate themselves uh, at all on this question. Uh, why? Uh, the Obama camp uh, is reading the polls that show that uh, three, three out of one Americans uh, think that McCain is a better war leader and commander in chief. He is afraid, and the Democrats are afraid of getting on the wrong side of the patriotic issue. The war drums are beating in the U.S., the flags are flying, the media is taking a very hard line towards Russia. And if he tries to, and McCain is right out in front taking a very hard line, calling for confrontation with Russia. If, if, if Obama uh, contradicts this policy, he's going to be accused of appeasement and being soft on Russia and soft on aggression, and uh, he'll be killed. So what he's doing is quietly tagging along. Does not look good on him. It doesn't bode well if he does become president. Brzezinski, uh, former advisor, national security advisor to President Carter, and has been an informal advisor to uh, Obama, has been uh, more than tagging along. Brzezinski compares this to the Russians' attack on Finland, and Brzezinski's been very uh, hard, hard in his rhetoric as well. Um, does this represent Brzezinski, or does it represent a sec uh, more than that, a section of the Democratic Party foreign policy establishment? I, I hope it represents just Brzezinski. I have great, enormous respect for him. He's been right about a, a lot about the old Soviet Union, but I think he's wrong. This is not like the Soviet attack on Finland. This is America trying to stick its nose into Russia's backyard and getting bitten in the nose by the Russians, and deservedly so. And the, uh, the Democrats have not formulated a proper response to this, and beating the war drums is the last thing they should be doing. Otherwise, they're going to end up like the Bush administration, getting stuck in unnecessary wars abroad. Now, if you look on the internet and the blogs, there's a lot of speculation that uh, this was the uh, September surprise in August. Uh, Bob Shear, uh, who writes uh, for uh, Truth Dig, talks about Randy Schooneman per uh, perhaps even directly instigating Georgia to get this dominoes going. Um, what do you make of this uh, speculation that this is a deliberately created crisis uh, to some extent connected to what's happening in the U.S. election campaign? Uh, there are only two possible answers. Either sheer stupidity on the part of the Georgians and their American and Israeli advisors to go and kick sand in the face of the Russians, or else there was some plan to create a crisis. If this is thought has occurred to me too. This is definitely going to, it is helping the Republicans as they, we see it. And it's helping Senator McCain, though, even though he can't pronounce the right name of Abkhazia, which is one of the provinces in question here, he is all for, you know, standing up and confronting the Russians. Confronting them with what? About the only thing America has to send to that region is half of the uh, Iowa National Guard if they aren't in Iraq already. Of course, it's all speculation, but uh, the, the, the possibility of this being a manufactured crisis, uh, both Georgia, the Polish missile deal, the, the counter rhetoric from the Russians, uh, either uh, deliberately or not, I'm still completely struck by the fact that Putin and Bush can sit there watching the Olympics while all this is happening. Uh, they didn't seem to think we were on the brink of something. Um, do you actually lend, lend credence to the idea that this could be something somewhat manufactured to affect the outcome of the U.S. elections? I, I, I'm very suspicious about it. I, I, I would say chances are 50 percent. But even the manufactured crisis may backfire because while a lot of American flag wavers may think this is just wonderful that we're, we're standing up to the horrible Russian godless communists, that uh, more thoughtful Americans, and there are some on both coasts, will uh, start saying, you know, Bush looks like an idiot in this confrontation. America's gotten a bloody nose. And America's efforts to insert its influence into the Caucasus, into Ukraine, and into Central Asia has just been short-circuited for now. Well, if, if Obama's presidency really is going to be something about change, then maybe this would be a moment to define a voice of rationality, not just tagging along with the uh, drumbeats of war. I wish Obama would come out and say, Mr. President, you're dead wrong. You're dragging the U.S. into a dangerous and unnecessary crisis, and you're antagonizing a country that has thousands of missiles pointed at us. Why are you doing it? What profit do you get? Are we going to trade Tbilisi for Tulsa? 
Are we going to watch New York blown up over this issue? Of course not. This is ridiculous. And, and he's going to say that NATO has gone too far east. It's a bridge too far. You're, 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 you swelled up the head of Mr. Saakashvili with all these promises and things that made him think he was a little Saddam Hussein. He could attack uh, his neighbor. Uh, it didn't work.